What the f is up? It's Coach Kyle. In today's video, I want to be talking about confidence, how to become confident, my journey, my struggles, everything I went through, everything I think that it takes to make that transformation, that evolution into becoming a confident male. So the first thing to understand is that there's two different forms of confidence. There's the internal core confidence, meaning your mindset, your thoughts about yourself, everything that you feel about yourself internally, as well as external confidence, meaning everything that you do, the way you act, your mannerisms, your behaviors, anything you do during an interaction that will change the way people perceive you. And ultimately it's having that combination of strong internal core confidence, as well as that powerful external communication that's really gonna make for a powerful combination. So the first thing I wanna do is discuss how to build that strong internal core confidence. So the best way to build that true core level of confidence internally is to have repeated success in a specific situation. The thing you guys need to understand about confidence is that it's completely situational. But the question is, how do we achieve that level of success? And it really comes down to two things, which is having a solid understanding of the theory, as well as going out and acquiring the reference experiences needed for that situation. Successes and failures. And so the way that this is applied into success with women is, Initially, you would have to go out and study the theory, right? Understand how attraction works, get a solid understanding of the way male to female dynamics work and how attraction works, as well as go out and gain those experiences needed, the successes and failures. So just to recap, studying the theory is gonna give you a thorough understanding of how and why things work the way they do, and then you're gonna need to go out and apply that theory into your everyday interactions, into your experiences. And over time, as you're applying the theory into these experiences, you're either gonna get a success or a failure. If it was a success, great. That's just another positive step towards building that confidence. If it was a failure, that's when you're gonna need to go back and reanalyze the situation. Use the theory that you've learned to analyze the situation and make a determination about where you went wrong. So the thing is, there's no book you can read to build that confidence. You're gonna need to have these successful experiences to truly build up that core confidence level. The way you do it though, is through studying the theory and then going out and applying it into your everyday experiences. And over time, you're slowly gonna build up that confidence level. So let's talk about some applicable techniques you could be using right now in your interactions to be perceived as more confident. And the first tip, is body language. What I mean by body language is relaxed, chilled body language. It's typically asymmetrical, slow, smooth movements, looking calm and at ease. And this may take some time to actually correct these mannerisms and behaviors within yourself. I know me personally, I struggled a lot with my body language. If I was in an interaction with a girl, like I would constantly be jabbing the ice with my straw. Like if I had a drink in my hand, I would constantly be jabbing the ice or I would just nervously be drinking my drink a lot or I wouldn't know what to do with my hands like I would have my hands awkwardly like I don't know I just felt uncomfortable with my hands and my gesticulation or I would be constantly like rocking my feet back and forth okay so to have good body language you want to just be slow chill relaxed and at ease tip number two for conveying strong external confidence is the voice so your voice needs to be loud and somewhat authoritative, okay? You're not yelling or screaming, but it's at a high volume and it's it's got this powerful vocal tonality to it, okay? Hey, excuse me. All right. Typically guys that are unconfident or shy or reserved, they have a tendency to talk in this very soft, uh, type of a way like if you want to sound a little bit more confident and you listen to these confident speakers their vocal tonality pitches downward at the end of each word if you listen to the way i talk the pitch of the words are always going down at the end of my sentences how about you i just turned 29 oh, okay nice. so yeah i don't know i was like i gotta at least say hi she <laughs> seems like i don't know just your style and your look seem interesting Thanks. and honestly guys my voice used to be weak as f it wasn't until i made an active decision to the point where I noticed gradually my voice started to become deeper. My vocal tonality got better. I've changed my voice and my communication so much over time that my identity of myself is at this more powerful, authoritative type of communication. And so the last point that I wanted to talk about is 
the eye contact. And I think this is an extremely powerful part of conveying confidence. Actually, I would say when it comes to communication with women, I'd say eye contact is arguably the most important part, okay? You need to be able to look a girl straight in her eyes without flinching, without being worried about breaking eye contact. You need to have this unwavering gaze that you could really just look anybody dead in the eyes. And it really just conveys a certain level of confidence, okay? And myself personally, as I was getting better with social interaction, social dynamic success with women, I struggled to hold eye contact, particularly with women that I found very hot and I was attracted to, okay? I, I struggled to be able to look the girl dead in her eyes for more than like two seconds without nervously breaking eye contact. And the way I got better with this is just over time, over years of practice with this, I, I forced myself to hold eye contact longer and longer and longer. And eventually it got to a point where I was pretty much able to look at anybody with this unwavering gaze. And when you can look a girl dead in her eyes like that without breaking eye contact and holding that smile, having that good vocal tonality, relaxed body language, it really conveys a powerful form of communication. It really conveys a certain level of confidence that a lot of women find very attractive. And lastly, I wanna talk about self-analysis because this is a huge part of improving your, your communication. You need to be able to put your ego to the side, look at yourself and be real with yourself about what parts of your communication you're struggling in and that you're the weakest in. If it's the theory and the understanding of how attraction works, male to female dynamics, social skills in general that you're struggling with, I strongly suggest you get on my Patreon. There's over 50 hours worth of content on there, including live lectures, infield breakdowns, everything that I know on this topic, I've dumped from my brain and put into these lectures. So if that's where you're struggling, I'll put a link in the description. You could check that out. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more content from me, or if you wanna learn more about my journey and how I became confident, I strongly suggest checking out my five hour audio book titled My Life Journey and Lessons Learned. I go through everything that I've encountered uh, pretty much since I was 12 years old all the way up until 30. Everything I've learned and everything I struggle with that made me into the man I am today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was educational. I hope you can apply some of these techniques and principles into your own life to become more successful and more confident. And until next time, Coach Kyle, signing out.